Hello everybody, Flick here, welcome back to another unboxing and this time for you today we have CP19, I was going to say 15, from Marvel Crisis Protocol miniature game Black Dwarf and Ebony Maw, a little bit late for the EU slash UK, I think America had this a couple of weeks ago, but they only just now got Drax and Ronin. Very weirdly shaped box, it reminds me, I think the, the Hulk and Modok came in similar shaped boxes, but it's elongated as well as extra thick, presumably because of the size of... Black Dwarf, I believe, is on par with the size of the Hulk. So anyway, these are the other two of the Black Order. Now, once you have these and Corvus and Proxima, you're just missing Thanos, and he has the faction bonus, obviously, because he's the leader. So still missing the integral part, but this gives you all of the Black Order to play with. So we're going to take a look at what's in the box. The cards got shown off a while back. Honestly, I don't mind the cards getting spoiled in advance. The only thing I have an issue with is never, ever spoil the assembly instructions because we are rendering supreme judgement on that above all else here. So let's see what's in the box. We have, are you, oh that is a, that is, oh wow yeah he is a large lad. <laughs> that is a hunk of sprue. So we have a box, and now we obviously have the protective cardboard, which we always have, that's per. Put that over there. Now then, assembly instructions, here we go. The double cider. Although Ebony Maw looks like he's pretty easy to handle. Um, yeah, you just put the feet together. That's a little bit unnecessary. One bit of the metal he's standing on attaching to the other. That seems fine. Yeah, that gets top marks. Black Dwarf's assembly is a little more involved. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it looks small enough to be irrelevant. And it shouldn't have been taken apart. It might be one of his, no, I think that's his pauldron, and then that's his wrist guard. You need to put his wrist guard on. Again, that's pointless. You have to attach his hand to his wrist. Also pointless. Other than that, you don't have to attach two sides of his head or anything, do you? No, his head is one piece. Okay. A couple of annoying, utterly pointless parts there. He does not get full marks. He gets like a solid, I don't know, like a seven and a half, maybe? Seven, let's say. But Maw is fine. So okay, half a box is, is acceptable from a assembly point of view. I know once I take this sprout this bag, it's not going back in smoothly. So we have our choice of four bases for Maw. And again, same usual ones. Then we have the one Hulk sized base or Modoc sized base for a Black Dwarf to sit on. Again, there's no variance for this, which is a little bit of a shame. And then we have the sprue itself. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, yeah, that's in focus there. His axe is massive. Good grief. So honestly, given his size, his little parts for assembly, not so little. There's the, the wrist guard I was talking about. So given his size, it's probably not that bad. That's never going to go back in like that. And this is the other half of Black Dwarf. This is his upper body, his forearms. What is that? It's like a little chicken claw. I don't know what that is. I didn't see that in the assembly instructions. Oh, maybe it's Ma's hand. No, it can't be Ma's hand. What is that? I honestly don't know what that is. It might be the thing that's attaching to the shoulder. It doesn't look like it in the picture. Hmm. I, I'm, I'm not sure. It could just be like leaves for the base. Pass. Pass on that one. And then this is Maw. He is very short, skinny. I'm not short, sorry. Just He's small compared to Corvus's brother. So thankfully his assembly being easy is reflecting in his size. So now... Ah yes, of course the Black Order comes with some Hydro Tokens. Makes perfect sense. It's what you would expect. I think these two come with the, the time stone, maybe? Oh, it's, it's struggling. Ah, they've made these bags smaller. It's damaging the cards getting them out now. Okay. So just some tokens. Oh, they come with the space gem. I like that picture. Choose a character or another allied character within three and place it within two of its current position. The super can only be used once per turn. It costs two. It's a two threat gem, which is pretty hefty. Marked for death, mothership, and shh. That's cool.
cool. And we are getting Daredevil later this year. An unaffiliated active two ally characters within five of each other, of the same enemy character rather, spend one each to play this card. In this round, the enemy character loses and cannot gain stealth. Its speed becomes small and it cannot modify its rear or defense. That's a very niche card. Mothership. That's okay, Art. And obviously that's that's a fun thing like from Infinity War. Black Order specific, specific rather, two Black Order characters may both spend two to play this card. Place one of the two characters not holding an objective token within one of the other character. Hmm, so you're calling home, basically. Unaffiliated reactive, when an enemy character is within an ally, uh, five of an allied Ebony Maw, spends one or more to use a superpower, Ebony Maw may spend three to play this card. The superpower has no effect, it cannot be used again for the rest of his turn, but the character still spends the power. Ooh! doesn't get to do something else that's better than Loki's Illusion or whatever it's called, Trickster God, that one. Interesting. So, oh, let's not start on their wounded sides. I will say Black Dwarf's are on his card. It's too small for a start. I mean look, it makes him look like he, w he wants to sit on Ebony Maw's shoulder. But, you know. So, hopefully this is glare away, chase the glare away, there we go. So 6 health, small movement, 4 size, 4 threat, 4 3 3, he uses his axe, he's got stagger, he's got black fury for 3, which is a throw, medium, within uh, size 4 or less, so it's on the upper end of the scale. Enforced oblivion, which counts as an action, you do a move and then the next activation you uh, attack, you do this activation, adds 2 dice. So that would change Axe Strike to an 8 and Brutal End to a 10. Wow. Intimidating Presence, 2. When an enemy character within 2 of his character targets another ally character, you become the target. It's a tanky skill. Invulnerable Skin, when this character would suffer damage from an enemy effect, reduce the amount suffered by 1 to a minimum of 1. That's 3 out of 4 people in the Black Order that have that rule. Because Corvus and Proxima both have it as well. And Wounded Side. Always like Thor is HP goes up to 8 instead of 6. I don't see any other difference. Same defense. Nope, doesn't look like it. So the only thing that changes is he gets 2 more HP. So 14 HP in total for 4 threat. He seems good for 4 threat. Now, Ebony Maw is an interesting one because he's expensive. He is 5 threat. being focus. So he's got 7 HP on his healthy side, medium move, size 2, but 5 threat, 2, 2, 5, or is that a 6? That's a 6! 2, 2, 6? That's impressive. And he only uses the mystic type attacks. Black Tongue, Herald of Doom, which also does a throw. Telekinetic Powerhouse, size 4 or less terrain feature. Within 3, throw at large. So he, he just wrecks the levels. Mind over matter, when this character is targeted by an attack that would make a dodge roll, you may use the superpower of this character uses its mystic defense to defend or dodge. Oh sorry, an attack or a dodge roll. So if he's getting something thrown at him, or if he's just getting attacked, he can spend power to make you use the six mystic dice to defend. In other words, have a massive chance of not taking any damage. During the power phase, this character gains an additional two power. Incredible psychic potential when he is he can fly and he's the gem bearer of mind in the space So mind is the one that forces someone to move space is the one we just looked at over there And his wounded side. Oh his health goes way down from seven to four It does anything else change It doesn't look like it. he's still got the three powers. He's still got black tongue and herald of doom yeah, he just becomes easier to kill. Like, very easy to kill. 4 HP is nothing. Well, I, guess I shouldn't say that, actually, if you can force to roll 6 defense dice. But yeah, he wants to hang back. He's got range 4 on his 2 attacks. That's pretty good. Herald of Doom is an 8 mystic dice attack for 4 power, which is very good. Yeah, I think that's all that changes on his wooden side as well. So I am very curious 
now that we have the Black Order sans Thanos, how Ebony Maw, Black Dwarf, Corvus Glaive and Proxima Midnight, how they synergize together, like how well do they work together because they're supposed to be like the cream of the crop, the, the perfect warriors that serve Thanos and work well together to achieve his goals. So I'm curious, I'm also curious how many you can actually take because I mean that's 9 threat by itself, I think Thanos is 8, I've forgotten now. His card did get shown off, but what? If, say it is seven or eight. That's a, that's that's like a three mini team if you're doing a low threat mission. And even if you were doing the big ones, like the twenty threat, I'm not sure you could fit in the entire Black Order and Thanos. And if you want the faction bonus, you have to drop someone to get Thanos in. So it would be like, who's the dead weight? And that's the interesting part. But anyway, I'm, I'm just rambling. These are two more minis that you will see on the table in the future. Very much looking forward to running the Black Order as Black Order, but it just I, I like Ebony Maw in general as a mini. Black Dwarf, he's a powerhouse. He's the same size as the Hulk, he's impressive looking. I'm, not, I'm just not keen on his art on the card, it's too small. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. There'll be more Marvel Crisis Protocols to come in the future, both unboxings of new characters as they release, and also battle reports, of course. So please subscribe if you want to see those. And until next time, ta-ta for now.